So to remove it, you'll see this, which is I think it looks like a Torx, and it's on both sides, but you don't remove that. Let me see. There you go. So you don't need to remove that. The one that you actually have to remove is this one right here, which is a, is an Allen, as you can see, and that's a eight millimeter. So where is it? Where's the size? Oh yeah, right there. Can't really see it, but anyways. Yeah, an Allen. So I got this from Home Depot. And then, use the ratchet. Pretty, pretty tight, so you're gonna have to use some force. Um, but before you even do anything, remember, uh, make sure you disconnect the battery. That way the airbag doesn't blow up. Um, wheel has to be straight, so when you remove it, you know, you won't have any alignment issues. But, um, as soon as you loosen that bolt all the way, it doesn't come out, it just stays loose. And then you have this plastic cover that is right here. And then you see the little indent right here. Use a little flathead, and pry it out. Then you'll see these connectors, which is for the airbag. And there's this black one for this one. It might be a little difficult, but it has a little tab that I use a flathead to just uh, pry up. This little right here where the flathead is touching, that's where this piece is holding on to, which let me show you. Hold on. So it's a clip that is. So right here where my finger is, this just clips on to like that so you just push it up and over so you can take it out and to remove the connector this white tab you're gonna need to press it down and then this pulls out uh let me give you hold give me a second you want to hold the to show you see it right mm, it's hard to see is it my hands? Okay then, you can pause it then. So. All right. So to remove this connector, it's a little it's a little hard just because you have no room to actually play with this. But as you can see, these are the two pieces. But what you do is, ah, oh, there you go, better. So you'll see this tab right here. You're supposed to pull up. So this white tab, you push up and it, it, then it'll separate from this. So this is the tab, so don't, I was prying on this on accident, right here thinking that this is the tab that you push up, but you don't, you actually push it from right here. So, because this tab will push this yellow one right here, see, so you can see where I'm moving it. And then that'll come out. And once you do that, and you loosen this screw, So now, like I said, wheel straight. Can you hold this? Because you still got to remove the black one. But once you remove that, that one, you could just slowly push out. And then, then you got to disconnect this black one, which I'll show you just right now. So once you remove it, it'll be like this. So I'm not sure if it's the same for all, but I mean, I mean, I took mine to the dealer and they did the whole airbag recall thing so i don't know if this is oem but this cable to take it off you'll see a nut that's back there it's a little hard to see can you shine the light then uh, let me see let me see if i can get it uh hold on and it's out of the way okay so that bolt right there it's grounded onto that so you got to loosen that bolt in order to remove this the ground wire so that's pretty difficult but in my case um since i got a new steering wheel i have to transfer over this whole piece onto the new one 
Um, so I have to take this off either way. And that'll make it easier for me to take off that grounded wire. So it looks like this plastic is being held by... Hold on, give me one second. Can you uh, hold the camera? Looks like it's only the these screws right here. This right here, this um, one, two, and three. And this cover, this plastic cover should come off. So let me go ahead and do that actually. Oh, you don't have a Phillips? Sure, that's for a slot. Phillips probably in the back. Oh yeah, you have to get it. Hold on, give me a second. So, like I said, tiny screws. I'm using a bit, the little bits, with this. So, because the screws are pretty small. So I'll take those off. Two, three, all right. Yep. All right. So you're probably gonna just gonna have to set this aside, like I said, until you're able to access that uh that screw. Uh, see, so you can see it better now. So is that screw right there that you actually gotta take off? So let's see. So once you ha once you have this plastic removed, the one you have is uh, eleven. Try an eleven. Once you uh, remove this plastic piece, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the airbag. So maybe that might help me gain access to this real quick. Uh, so it'll be this only one, two, and the third one's right there. So, you gotta use the small ones. Small ones? So, this looks like it's a 10 wrench. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I removed the, the three bolts for the airbag, but I removed these first because these are a lot easier to take out. This one doesn't come out all the way because it hits right up here. But you do have to take, uh, where's that ring? But in order to take out the airbag, you need to take out the, the ring, which you'll have three tabs, which is th these big ones. This one, this one right here, and then this one. And you j they're really hard, so you really got to, with the flathead, you got to push inward, and then the airbag uh, comes off, which is right here. And then after, when you get that off, this is the ground wire. That was. Hold on, can you hold the camera? I'm over here trying to struggle. It was attached right here. So, and it has an eight eight millimeter. So once you get that off, this pulls out. Airbag. And now you got your whole steering wheel. Taken apart. You want to turn it the other way? No, like opposite. There we go. So yeah. So now, so it's like I said, flipping. flipping. So flip it. You mean turn it now or flip it? Flip it. So like I said, uh, my stu my new steering wheel. I'll show you guys right now in a second. Um, I do have to transfer all this onto the new one. So to remove the uh, this metal piece, it's these four Allens, but and then the two tens. But on, on these Allens, when you flip it the other way, or oh, actually that's better, there's a nut. So you got to loosen those nuts actually, not the Allen, sorry about that, from the bottom. And once you loosen that and take this off, this whole piece should come off. So I'll get back to you guys once I remove that. So it's a lot easier to take off the, the, the nut. It's a 10 millimeter and you use an Allen, which is, let me see the size. This is a... Let me see, where's the name? Uh, it might be a little hard to see, but it's a 532. So you just hold it on one side and then you loosen on the other side. Just oh, wait. So you can break it loose. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. 
So you're, turn, you're tightening it now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, always remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. So once you break it loose, hold it on one side, and then take it out. All right, we'll be back. So we finally took them off. Like I said, holding on one side with the Allen, then a 10 on the other side as a nut. I just use an extension, a 3 8 extension with the 10 mil, a short one. And as you see, Danny's already. If you have one that uh, swivels, be a lot perfect. <laughs> yeah. So those 10s on the sides, it also has a nut on the bottom side of it which is what Danny's removing. So, yeah, once once those are off, oh, we'll, we'll, you'll see right now. It's gonna work. What? It's starting there too. Uh oh. Then I, I can show you guys the new steering wheel. Make sure you guys, uh, if you guys like the new steering wheel, make sure you guys, um, you know, put a thumbs up. Or put a thumbs down if you guys, I guess, if you guys don't like it, but I like it. Actually, they can't do thumbs down no more. You can't? I, mean, I think they took it out. Oh. Like on YouTube, there's no thumbs down. Uh, you can still thumb down it, but it doesn't even show it. Oh, to make people feel better? Yeah, or? I think so. Oh, dang. All right, well, if you guys don't like it, just comment saying that I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it that makes it easier. Here's the other one. Sorry. Also, we're giving away a free steering wheel. <laughs> giving away? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's on, it's only on the '86 uh, FRS and BRZ. <laughs> it's it's Evo Seven, Eight, and Nine. Stupid. <laughs> oh, and make sure when you guys are taking off these connectors, make sure not to uh, be make sure to be careful because this moves and you don't want to damage this. So everything, make sure it's just nice. Take your time, nice and slow. And you'll be good. So. Bam. And that's it. So now. Alright, alright. See you later, Danny. I was going to show you guys, but Danny just decided to go in the back of Evo. Hold on. <laughs> you know what's funny? Hold on, I was going to show them. Oh, you want to put it in the box? No, I want to show them the piece that we took off. It's funny, you know what I was going to do? The anti -piece or the I was going to get out of my car. You know how the steering wheel used to be here? <laughs> I was going to go like that. God damn it. Hold on. All right. So this is the other piece that we took off. So this is the final piece. Once you have this off, your steering wheel is going to be bare, just like this. So I had to take all those things off because that's what I'm gonna transfer over. Transfer over. Transfer over to. You're what? I'm gonna transfer over to the new steering wheel, which I'm gonna show you guys, and hopefully you guys like it. Took me a while to get, but it was well worth it. Give me a second. to the new one so this one as you guys can see side by side a lot better I decided to go the flat bottom compared to the the round I got a, a custom Alcantara sides the blue stitching and the blue a uh, little like you know um, what do you call that like to see like the center I guess of the scene wood or something like that I don't know point is, is I got the blue to kind of complement the, co the color of the car which is uh, really nice let me put this down. So this is made by 
SW Custom. Not sponsored or anything, but just I do want to, you know, give them the thanks and appreciate the work because if you guys look closely and stuff, like you could tell, like everything was done, you know, you know, um, what do you say, like with time, a lot of effort. It took a while to get, but it's well worth the wait. Um, so really, really happy with how this outcome outcome came. So can't wait to put it on and let's do it so this is what i meant about uh taking out all those parts because i'm gonna transfer it over to this um i think you can um get the option where you'll get all of it together already made by them but i wasn't sure so i just asked for the steering wheel and i got this so they also do custom work on any make or model so i'll leave a link in the description of where i got it and you can get all kinds of just different material different styles even with the lights for like shift lights and all that pretty cool pretty cool people so like i said let's get this on and see how it turns out at the end okay so we're putting back the plastic oh and then we already mounted this back on there and then we regrounded the ground right there and uh we're probably not gonna be able to record because we don't have a stand for it right now yeah so but we're just gonna shove everything back yeah, so make sure you have all these wires through these pieces. That, that's why it looks like this. Uh, this would be better if you have somebody to help you to, you know, hold everything while you're trying to do things. Because by yourself, it's going to be pretty hard. But, uh, yeah, I mean, once we have all this mounted back on, uh, we'll get back to you guys and show you the final product then. So this is done. This is how it turned out. Looks really, really nice complements the interior don't mind all the tools looks pretty good all right hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um pretty cool little little add-on to the to the car um what's next is actually pretty cool so big changes for the 86 uh, more stuff for the Evo that I do have at home. I just gotta find a day off to uh, You know actually get it installed uh, So stay tuned. Thank you again for watching um, That's pretty much it. See you guys till the, till the next video uh, Make sure to like share subscribe and thank you guys all for the support